YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to part two of my Carthage campaign. Last time we took our first province over here in Iberia, we took Kartuba, and there is our army at the moment. We also have Nova Carthago, which look like they're going to be making their way towards the Turtadani tribe. Oh, we can actually level up him. My general, we give him zeal. And yeah, if we can try to reunite the south, we should be looking okay in Iberia. We're not going to expand too far, too early, too far too early. We'll try and try and keep a balance, and we will recruit another unit of Carthaginian hoplites over no here with close. Hannibal's army. I think Requires I can end turn. So we go through the end turn phase, and of course we're at war with many different nations now. Oh, and look at that, the Etruscans have taken Rome. Oh my god. Rome has lost Rome. Ha ha ha. Idiots. Come on, Nova Carthago have taken Tingis. Well done, my my friends. Oh, we've been attacked. The Turtadani have attacked us. Oh, bugger. What have they got? they got slingers. Iberian swordsmen. One unit of cavalry. I think we can. Oh, we are weakened ourselves. We do have elephants, which could be the mop, mop up a few of these units, so we will attack them. Um, I'm about 50 50 about this at the moment. The Thunderbolts of Ro. Oh, Ro. Ro? Ro? Oh, this is, the good thing is, they got to try and get through my gates. But I will be sending my general in head first. On the war elephants. Find out what gate they're, they're planning to attack me from. I got a lot of skirmishers, so I'll use them to full effect. And then my militia, which has been depleted, will sit behind the walls, put them into phalanx, and then just tear them to pieces like that. So we'll go ultra defensive. The general might be the difference in this, though. Elephants are way overpowered in in this game, in my opinion. Now I have actually dropped a couple of the settings. Uh, in this campaign so far just a few graphical ones we still got good graphics settings but I noticed that the last battle did lag slightly I don't really want a, a repeat of that so I'm gonna try my best here so we have my javelin men stick them all here I think do I have a gateway over here I believe I do yes I do so they're gonna attack this gate by the looks of things here's the enemy they do have ladders as well. Uh, matter of fact, let's see if we can. Yeah, we can. We'll stick one unit around like so. Another unit around like so. Just going to try to organize these as best as we can. Cavalry can can sit behind all four of these units can be told to go off skirmish mode. All of these can be grouped up. It's going to be pretty basic formation. Take the lowest unit. We will in fact put them in phalanx. In the doorway if I can line them up properly. I'm going to use this as a choke point. Ooh, did I want that? Yeah, I'll do. Get the second unit behind like so the formation. formation charge Balhamun be praised you will notice that in the first episode I named it Balhamun be praised but I just find it quite a funny saying I just thought it would be quite appropriate formation. for this campaign Move. I have these three Spearmen. support the formation. formation charge and then we'll have this one in, in the rear they're going to try and blob their way through, so... Nice wall in front of them. with my elephant? Where's my elephant? Oh, i got some units left. I have mob units which are absolutely useless. They may as well just stay back. That's they and then my elephants. War elephants! They can just go around here. We'll start the battle straight away. And we'll see what mischief we can get up to in this video. They will hold for us as long as we stand upon them. 
For it is not stone or wood that keep our enemy out, but our blood and sweat and our resolve. To arms then, make ready men. There he is. I think that's my general. The Mago, I think it's Mago in this army. Look at the detailing on these uniforms, it's absolutely superb. I gotta say, I'm, I'm very pleased with this uh, new graphics card of mine. Getting some lovely detailing over here. Right, anyway, it's enough fun not looking at my elephants. I could just look at my elephants all day. <laughs> and where are they going? Looks like they're taking their ladders somewhere. <laughs> If they think they're going to go up there, then I don't think they can get actually get through the gap here, because this is where I attacked them from. This gate is where I attacked them from last time, so... They can send them up there if they want to, but... I mean, you wouldn't think this was very hard, would you? They have three ladders by here. They go in up here. It's going to take them ages to get around to the gates around there. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Let's put all these on to... Faster reload. Really get some shots going into them now. Here we go, we're actually taking a lot of them out now. Oh, he just took one right to the throat, I think, then. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, right in the head. Oh, I'm just enjoying this at the moment. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in, I gotta zoom into this. So, oh, yeah. I just love seeing. <laughs> Oh, you, you guys are going to think I'm some sort of total war freak looking at these people die, but it's so funny. Oh, he took a flaming arrow. That's from the Archer Tower, surely. Oh, and they're starting to waver. They're not even going to make it. They're not even going to make it. Here they go. They're broken. Didn't even get up there. Or one or two of them got up there. And <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a scarecrow. <laughs> oh my god, that was. <laughs> we can have to zoom into this. Look at <coughs> Oh, I'm dying by it. <laughs> oh, the arrow disappeared. That's not fair. He's just like a. He's dead, but. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. We're so they're gonna send these two, these three units by the looks of things up up this path and around here so to counteract this I think I shall take two oh, units uh, it's gonna come to this wall in there so I don't know if we can too much too much of this uh, settlement got my tower of course but that's where they're gonna attack from I don't want to weaken these walls too much so I think I'll keep I'll keep one unit. Uh, can I afford to keep two or one? I mean, that's where they're going to attack me from. They're going to come right around. They're going to be exhausted by the time they get their mind. And I suppose I could just bring the elephants out and charge them, but I don't really see the point at the moment. I can actually speed this up though because it's just going to be boring waiting for the enemy. So we'll just get our units into position quickly. For a fact, these units can run. My peasants, they may as well come up here to, to see how the real men fight. <laughs> see, uh, some of these have been weakened from previous battles as well, so yeah, it should be interesting. I like the f I like how they've laid their army out, though. It's quite nice how how they've done this, but they're just sitting there. I don't understand. They're attacking me with very few units. And this is very hard, you saw in the first video. I clicked the toggle up to very hard. I didn't want to do legendary because I've already got a legendary campaign with Sparta at the moment. Um, and with the legendary campaign as well, it, the problem with it is that um, the, the save feature isn't exactly the same. So, um... Actually, I'll bring my elephants around in case they do get through. I can actually charge on them with the elephants, but I find with the legendary campaign, the save feature isn't the same, so I can't just click save and then end the episode there. I kind of have to wait till they get to the end turn phase. And of course, if you're trying to, you know, keep the video file size down, 
the problem you have is that you can get to the end turn phase, wait until the end turn phase finishes, and then in that end turn phase you get attacked. So you've got to show another battle. Oh, look at this. <laughs> i got to enjoy this right now. Oh my god. Right, let's zoom in and let's watch this. Oh, right in the face. He's on fire as well. Not in a good way. They're getting absolutely butchered. <laughs> oh, this is just beautiful. They just, they're going to waver as well. That's another ladder that's not going to get there. They're gone. They might actually be all taken out now. <laughs> Look at the arrows inside on the back of this uh, tower. They've all been taken out. The whole unit's perished. There's actually a couple of them on the ground. Look at him, he's crawling. He wants his mama. He wants his mama. It's covered in blood. He's gone. Right, so... That's another tower taken out. My lord. Uh, this unit is out of ammunition, unfortunately, so we may as well come back. This unit... Where's this unit to? Over there? Oh, that's not good if they attack me over here, is it? This unit's got lots left. This unit's got quite a few, which will start firing any moment now. Uh, removed one. Don't have as many, as many left now, so the effect might not be quite the same. Can I bring my cavalry up? I think I could try to. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring them up. The mob can come slightly as well. Yeah, here we go. Plenty of arrows getting fired again. They are losing men. The tower's taking one or two out as well. Don't have as many men this, here this time, but I do have my elephants, which I will. I will charge in if need be. Matter of fact, I probably will bring them a little bit closer to the action. Bring this unit of uh, skirmishers up as well. And a matter of fact, I think we can actually bring a lot of these back now. I'm gonna let them come up. I'll let my war elephants do the damage. Put them into melee mode or melee mode, however you like to pronounce it. <laughs> the one thing with this game, there's so many different locations and places that it's quite difficult to to know what to actually call many of your uh, things, places, you know, you got like, uh, I'll give you an example, you got where I live in Wales, the faction which occupies that location is the Demetai faction, what are they doing, they pull him back, they pull him back, what on earth, they've got ladders up here, oh and they're actually moving their army, right, time to move I think, uh, elephants got to come over this side, now we're actually going to have a proper battle, by the looks of things, they're bringing their army over. So I'll do the same thing. Let's get them all up here quickly. Are they going to attack me or are they just going to go past? It looks like they're going to attack me. My missiles. Oh, they can't quite hit my slingers. Look at that. Just out of range of the slingers. Damn it. I'd like them to try and go through the, the front gates, but I'm not quite sure what they're doing at the moment. Javelin men! Javelin men! Be in position, here they go. Starting to get some arrows of death on the enemy now. Taking a few of them out. The elephants are in position. My Numidian cavalry, I think we can take a uh, position on this flank over here. Try to get some cover and fire in problem I have now is these two units are actually out of ammunition so they're not going to be much good uh, anymore. I'll just put them in a defensive position uh, so look. They can go by here. I like the fact that they've retreated from this uh, location. They've actually retreated back and probably going to come around and meet up with the... They could just attack me from here. I don't know what the AI is actually doing. Bring the mob unit back anyway. <laughs> oh, here they are. Silly me. Oh, they don't burn the gates down. How dare they? The arrow tower is doing lots of damage though. They are significantly weakened. This is one of the things I do like with. Well, with. Uh, Fire! With siege battles, is that you can sit in the, in the 
settlement to defend. Like, I got a nice defensive wall here. If they want to take the settlement, they got to go through all of these Hobbitae units, plus my war elephants, so... It's not going to be an easy task for them, is it? I mean, they are doing dam fire damage to my gate right now, but... They're losing units to, to, do, to do it, and that's what I find with siege battles. You have to sacrifice a couple of units just to get in the building, so you need to make sure you've got plenty of units available to you. Otherwise you're screwed. I haven't even got a full stack. I've got, what, two mob units, and six infantry, four skirmishers, that's ten, plus cavalry, plus uh, uh, general, twelve. Twelve units available in my army. There we go. I've taken them out. And they've actually lost, what, three? Three full units now? Four maybe? Oh, he just took one to the head. <laughs> and he's on fire. Oh, I love some of these anim animations. It's absolutely splendid. Oh, they're going to send more carcasses to me. Send me your carcasses. You Iberian fools. <laughs> Turtidani, I should say. They might actually get in with this, uh, this lot, but they're getting weakened. Unfortunately, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm out of ammunition here. I should pull these back. What about this unit? They're out of ammunition. Right, so they don't have ammunition. They're just getting pummeled by the enemy when really they should be back now, both of these. Oh, I've actually lost one of them. I've actually lost both of them, actually. Oh, that was a bad play. Oh, I've lost only one of them. Okay, the javelin men are still alive. Put them here. I'm just going to put these units now. They're no use. The javelin men are out of ammunition. The mob units are crap. So the best thing that they can do is just sit back. And if it comes to it, they can be the last kind of resort in this square. But I don't think they will be in this battle, to be honest. Let's go back to the action. And i got to say, I've loaded one or two settings. I'm not experiencing any lag this time, so kudos to me. <laughs> Why are they got... They're my horses. What are they doing? What the hell? They've actually come out of the gates, haven't they? Idiots. In that case, charge them go through the gates. They burn, I like the fact they burn in the gates even though the gates are open. I'm going to sacrifice this unit of cavalry but because they're mercenary I don't mind because they can, their upkeep is going to be terrible. But at least by doing this I'm kind of delaying the inevitable. What the hell is happening here? Oh my horses are pushing through my men, that's okay. Didn't want to break formation and they're lining up now, they don't know what they're doing. I want to take some of these slingers out, they got loads and loads of slingers. But the good thing is they're in range Oh, they can actually come up and flank me. I didn't know. Is that right? Elephant time. It is indeed elephant time. Bring them across. They're going to charge in. Well, they're going to walk over casually, but they are going to eventually charge up here. Matter of fact, we can do it now. We're going to take out some of these slingers that are coming in. Look at this. More carcasses for me and my elephants. They're getting butchered from either side, and my elephants will be there soon enough. Here they come, John. <laughs> Chase them away. Thank you very much. Boom. Oh. They're not going to sleep well tonight, are they? My elephant's doing a good job here. If they ain't going to send slingers up on this flank, then I can keep my elephants round, round this flank to, to stop them. But I'm enjoying this battle so far, you can probably tell. I'm up against it. Uh... Oh no, my elephant, what's he doing? Oh, I thought he died then. It's okay, he's still alive. Uh, elephant, elephanto. They're broken. That's okay, the tower should deal with them. I'm going to bring the elephants back now because they might be in range of their slingers. I don't want them to be annihilated by their slingers. How's this gate going? Fire damage, 100%. That gate will be down then. Oh, there it is, right on schedule. There's my men. That's a nice little screenshot of my men. Men of Carthage. Carthaginians, the most badass army since the ancient Egyptians. <laughs> I would have said Romans, but the Roman is around at the same time. They're going to bring their infantry forward, which is what I like. I want a proper battle now. Bring me your men, and I shall kill them all. This is my attempt at a Carthaginian accent. <laughs> not actually sure what a Carthaginian accent it would be like because this is what they got in the game. But of course. Carthage was long, long ago uh, wiped out by the Romans. And here we go. What are they doing? They don't know what they're doing. Oh, they do now. Are they going to charge me? Doesn't look like it. Oh, here they come. And they have different lines of phalanxes. They've got to get through. Oh, fire in the face. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. 
exactly this. They're gonna try and blow, blob their way through, which is one of the things which irritates me in this game. The blobbing. But I have lots and lots of lines there to stop them. I have my two archer towers firing down into them as well. They they won't last long. I have my war elephants. I can actually put them back onto uh, skirmish mode. Not skirmish, what do they call it? Missile mode, I suppose it would be called. Oh, they've got so many skirmishes. Pity I'm going to have the units of cavalry out here, which I can just bring from the trees and start hitting them with. That'd be perfect at the moment, that would. But these guys, they don't stand a chance in here. They're going to they're gonna blob their way, or they're going to attempt to blob their way through. And to be honest with you, it's stupid. My, I haven't got very good units, mine. These are the basic uh, units you can recruit with Carthage, Libyan Hoplites. If you've noticed, in um, with Hannibal, his army at the moment, I've been recruiting... Uh, the Carthaginian Hoplites, which are much better. They're, they're more expensive to recruit. Their upkeep is a little bit higher as well, but they're a much better unit. And once you can get them, I recommend using them straight away. They're much better than these Lib Libyan Hoplites. Lib Libyan Hoplites are basically slightly better than uh, mercenary Hoplites or you know garrisoned kind of Hoplites, which you get in some of the towns in this game. But we're doing very well now. Nice bit of blob in action here, my men are staying steady. Whatever's coming at us with defeating. Our towers are firing even from over here. My tower is doing damage to them. And they will so shortly be completely routed. And there they are, they're all starting to rout now. And I shall end the battle because I have no cavalry. And there we go. So my elephants did get 58 kills in the end. Uh, well, we've got the highest, 170. Javelin unit got 170. Well done to them. So, uh, great for them. They. I'm glad I put them on the walls. I was able to move them around then to stop the enemy flanking. But I'm a little bit disappointed that the AI didn't try to um, outflank me. They had the ladders there, they could have easily outflanked me, but oh well, we will kill these guys because I don't like them for attacking me. Our army's dealt with. Military traditions, Dido's faithful. And Dido, I don't like the word Dido. Should we, should we rename this army? I think we should. They've done well. Kartuba. This is Mago's, isn't it? Mago's army. We have some tradition as well. Well earned tradition. We shall give them weapon damage if they play all melee. That'll, that'll do. Um, we'll call them something else. Uh, what can we call them? Mago, 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 Mago. Kartuba. We will go with Kart. Tubas. Put an S on it. Finest. Kartuba's finest because they are at the moment. I would like to attack these guys, but you know what? I think Nova Carthago are going to take Gadira. I don't mind that. This is where our boundaries lie. This army has been replenished. Very happy with how they performed. Can't recruit anybody at the moment. Uh, we are building a Hellenist Hellenistic city. We need consecrated ground for public order, probably. Must have feel we need to recruit better infantry. We can get Carthaginian. Public order is important at the moment though, so we'll go with that. And that's our stuff in the west of my empire now dealt with, I think. Carter Dash is undefended, but we do have a garrison of eight, although four of them are mob units, so I wouldn't trust them in a battle. Could raise another army, but for now we got Carthago Nova nearby. I don't think we're actually at war with these, are we? The Itani? No. And we're not very, we're not very, bleh, we're not very well liked in Spain. It must be said. Uh, can we try and get something with the Etruscans? My friend, Etruscan. We'd like some trade. Oh, moderate. Oh, I actually got a moderate now as well. Even though the ale calls and the food smells most. Defensive excellent. alliance as well. Look at that. You idiots! Come on. You speak well, but You've I just taken Rome. Not approve. I, I want to be your friend. Such you can be. My friend, come on. Oh, you idiots. Why are they I doing this to me? Our ancestors unhappiness if I accepted. Right, so that's uh, not very good. We'll try and get something with them because they're doing well against Rome at the moment. They've taken Rome itself. They've got Ariminium, Velathri, and Alia. Or Alalia? Al Alia, I call it. <laughs> um, Rome has been taken back just to these three regions by the looks of things. I mean, if I could, I could soup in there and take one of these. As a matter of fact, Cosentia looks like a good target. They've only got an 8 garrison as well, and that would certainly weaken them. 
<laughs> actually, you know what? I think I might act on these, uh, on this, the sacred company. Mm, I don't like that name either. We should name this army something different. Tell you what, leave, let me know in the comments why you want me to name one of my armies, and perhaps I'll rename this army here, the Pride of Mago. So why do they call it the Pride of Mako if ha Himilcar's the... Uh, that's weird. Anyway, let me know and I'll rename this to whatever you guys would like me to rename this army. But I'm going to rename Hannibal's army as well. And... What can I name Hannibal's? I know. This is quite a bit of a tongue-in-cheek. Ah, uh, what? Here we go. Hannibal's 501st. All you Star Wars fans know exactly what I'm on about. <laughs> this is Hannibal's 501st. The elite, the stormtroopers. Actually, that's a good name for an army. Maybe I'll call my next army the stormtroopers. But anyway, um, let me know why you'd like this army to be renamed the Pride of Mago, and I shall do that accordingly. And I think there's not much else I can do here at the moment. Can recruit another unit of. I will go for Libyan javelinmen. So I'm going to probably try to take Cassentia with Hannibal's army now. But I think I'll end the episode there. Hope you've all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart, until next time, goodbye.